Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to talk today a little bit about rays and angles. Just give you the basics of what a ray is and what an angle is and a couple of classifications of angles. So this lesson will be part of a, like a, the basics of geometry, basically. All right, so let's go ahead and, and get started. What is a ray? Is it a laser beam from a sci-fi movie? Is it one of the Ghostbusters? Or part of a line that has one end? All right, good. The ray we're talking about is a part of a line that has one end. Here's an example of a ray. A ray has an end point, A, and it continues in one direction continuously. So it sort of has an end where it stops. And that's what makes a ray different than a line. A line will extend infinitely in both directions. A ray will only extend infinitely in one direction, represented by that arrow. The way that we label a ray is you start at the end point and you name another point along this line. If there was um, if there was like A, B, and then C up here, you could call it ray A, B, or ray A, C, or use the symbol for a ray shown here, that arrow on top of the letters. But you always start with the end point. That's the important thing about a ray. With a line, you can label it any direction because it goes infinitely in both directions. But with a ray, you start with the end point. All right? And when two rays have the same end point, that is when you get an angle. So this here we have ray AB and ray AC, and they meet at the end point A and create this angle in between here. And let's talk real briefly about the parts of an angle. You have the vertex, and that's the point where they both meet. That's in this case end point A. That's where the two rays meet. They both start there. And the sides are these two lines, or two rays, AB and AC. So when you're talking about an angle, you'll talk about the vertex and the sides. You also talk a little bit about how to label an angle. With an angle, you can label it in a couple of different ways. You can label it, in this case, BAC or CAB. The important thing is that the vertex is in the middle. So you could actually start BAC and trace it around the angle, BAC, like that. If there's only one angle at a given vertex, you can also simply call it angle A. All right, and that's fine to do um, if there's only one angle. If this line extends beyond there and it creates more angles, then, then you can't just say angle A because there might be multiple angles off of the same end point. All right, let's talk quickly about the types of angles. Um, we're going to talk about three types of angles. The first one is a 90 degree angle. And that's where it's, it can basically be straight up, straight down, or straight across like this, all right, a 90 degree angle, also called a right angle. And that one, some people call it like a square angle. It's a nice square block. It's sometimes also represented by putting little lines down here that give it a sort of square in the middle. I'll show you what that would look like. We put two lines in here. And that's sometimes used as a symbol to represent a square angle or a right angle or a 90 degree angle. All right. The other angles we're going to talk about are all in relationship to the 90 degree angle. So it's important that we understand um, that a 90 degree angle in kind of a straight vertical line and a horizontal line can be twisted and flipped all the way around, but the importance is that it's always 90 degrees. The other types of angles are an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. And you can see that if this were 90 degrees straight up in the air, this acute angle here is much less than that. It doesn't go all the way out to that 90 degree point. It could be a very small angle. Or some angles like this one here are maybe very close to being 90 degrees, but they're not quite 90 degrees. So any angle less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. One more piece of vocabulary we need to know, something we need to know here is that 180 degrees is a straight line. So the angle measurement, if we measured the angle from here around to here, it's 180 degrees. And we need to know that for our next type of angle. An obtuse angle 
is the angle that is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So if 90 degrees were to measure up to the center, you know, like a nice square angle, 180 degrees is a straight line. An obtuse angle is anywhere in between those two. All right. So here are some examples of obtuse angles. They basically opened up a little bit more than 90, but they don't go past a straight line. So those are examples of three types of angles, acute, obtuse, and the right angle. And remember, an angle is made up, in this case, when a ray here and another ray have the same end point.